hydrogen atom absorbs a photon and as a result, an electron transitions from energy level four to energy level five. Okay, so let's start by looking at our energy level diagram. So we start in energy level four and transition to energy level five. So the energy of the electron, the energy gained by the electron is going to be equal to the energy absorbed by the photon. So let's find out how much energy was gained by the electron by finding the difference between our energy levels. So our initial energy was level four, which is negative 0 0.85 electron volts. And our final energy is negative 0 0.54 electron volts in energy level five. So we can find the difference between these numbers. Zero, negative 0 0.54 minus negative 0 0.85. And that gives us a uh, energy change of 0 0.31 electron volts. So that's our first number we can enter here. That was the change in energy of the electron, which it got from the photon. So it's also the energy of the photon. So 0 0.31 electron volts. Now to use that energy in the rest of our calculations, we're gonna to need to know it in joules. So our next step is to do a conversion. So we're gonna set it up using the train tracks method. We have 0 0.31 electron volts. And we wanna convert that into joules. So I'm gonna find the conversion factor on our equation sheet. Here it is. One electron volt is equal to 1.60 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. So I'm going to write that down up here. One electron volt is equal to 1.60 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. So since our question right now is 0 0.31 electron volts converted into joules, we want to divide by electron volts in our fraction. So I want electron volts on the bottom and I want to end up in joules. So I want joules on the top. And so using my conversion factor, one electron volt is going to be on the bottom. And on the top, we're going to have 1.60 times 10 to the power of negative 19 joules. Okay, so now we can cancel out the top and the bottom, which is the electron volts, multiply through everything on the top and divide by everything on the bottom. So I'm doing 0 0.31 times 1.60 times 10 to the power of negative 19 joules divided by one in my calculator. That gets me an energy of 4.96 times 10 to the power of negative 20 joules. Okay, so we've converted that. Let's check that answer now. 4.96 E for times 10 to the power of negative 20. Okay, awesome. So we have our energy in both electron volts and joules. Our next step is to uh, use the photon energy equation to find our frequency. So our three variables here are energy, H, which is Planck's constant, and nu, which is the frequency of the photon. So let's go and find our equation Here's our equation, energy of a particle, E equals H nu. So let's write that down. E equals H nu. We're trying to find the frequency, which is the nu. So let's divide by H on both sides. So that will cancel out, leaving us with nu equals energy divided by H. Now we know H is a constant, so we can fill that in. Let's find that here. Planck's constant H is 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds. So we can fill that in here. 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds. And now let's put those numbers into our equation. So our energy is 4.96 
times 10 to the power of negative 20 divided by h Planck's constant which is 6.63 times 10 to the power of negative 34 joule seconds. When we divide those and put that in our calculator, I get out a frequency of 7.48 times 10 to the power of 13 per second. So let's fill that in and check that that's correct. 7.48 times 10 to the power of 13 per second. Okay, awesome. So we've now used the energy of the photon to find the frequency of the photon. Our last step is working through with the speed of light equation to find the wavelength of our photon. So going over to our equation sheet, our speed of light equation is here. It's C equals nu lambda. So let's write that down. C equals nu lambda. We're trying to find, find lambda the wavelength. So let's divide by nu on both sides so as to get wavelength on its own. So we're left with wavelength equals C divided by nu. That's wave speed divided by wavelength. Now we know wave speed is a constant because we're talking about photons of light. So going to our equation sheet, this, uh, the speed of light is 3.0 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. So we can fill that in. 3.0 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. And now we can go ahead and put those numbers into our equation. So C, that's our speed of light, 3 times 10 to the power of 8. Divided by nu, that's our frequency, 7.48 times 10 to the power of 13 and calculating that out gets a wavelength of 4.01 times 10 to the power of negative 6 meters for our wavelength. So let's fill that in just to check. E negative 6. Wonderful. Okay, done. So just to review what we did, our first step here was using the energy levels to figure out the change in energy of our electron. And that's equal to the energy of a photon that was absorbed in electron volts. Then we converted that into joules using the conversion factor shown at the top. Next, we used the photon energy equation to get the photon's frequency from the photon's energy. And finally, we used the photon frequency along with the speed of light in the wave speed equation in order to get the wavelength of our photon.